What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cosmat Wrestling. I am actually sitting alongside Matt Carpio today. What's going on, Matt? What's up, Kyle? I'm excited for this. Let's get right into let's it. Let's get yeah, right into it. it. Smack Don opens up with the WWE champion Roman Reigns as he talks about what he did to KO in their steel cage match. I think it was last week or two weeks ago. Roman blames Adam Pierce for KO's injuries not being able to show up for SmackDown tonight. Roman demands for Adam Pierce, asking him to take responsibility. Roman then starts to think that Adam Pierce thinks he's stupid and he doesn't respect the champion. Roman grabs Pierce by the collar, threatens him a little bit, and then lets go and says, you know, maybe nobody is stupid. Didn't really make too much sense, but I still dig this promo. Interesting way to open up SmackDown. We then have an impressive intercontinental match between Apollo Crews and Big E. Apollo Crews starts this match with a drop kick to the champ that actually stuns Big E. But the match ends in a draw as the ref counts to a three with both men's shoulders down off of like a suplex off the top rope. Big E retains, but Apollo then slaps him across the face. The match then recontinues as Big E takes his fury out on Apollo. After a few hard minutes, Big E then hits that big ending to retain the Intercontinental Championship. Yeah, both competitors look strong here. We then see Adam Pierce alongside Sonya Deville. Adam Pierce talking about how he's really looking forward to working with Sonya Deville. So, so we will have to see what that brings. So is Sonya going to replace Adam or is she going to be a manager on either SmackDown or Raw? I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. We come back from a break with Bianca Belair being interviewed backstage right as Bailey actually gets in her face saying she is entering the Women's Royal Rumble claiming she will and eliminate, she will win and actually eliminate Bianca Belair. So this is going to start a little rivalry between these two come the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. We then see Carmella backstage actually complimenting Sasha Banks on being the Sports Illustrated Women of the Year, saying that she would have been the Women of the Year, but she took some time off to take a vacation. And she actually claims that this year Sasha can't touch her. So this is going to be interesting. We're going to see. I, I feel we're going to see them two kind of clash it out at the Royal Rumble. Yeah, some interesting rivalries going into the Royal Rumble for sure. The Street Profits are actually up next, defending the SmackDown Tag Team titles as they take on Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode. Guys, all you need to know is that the Street Profits lost their tag team titles with Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode, tag team champions once again. What? Yeah, the Street Profits fought hard. It looked like uh, Montez Ford got injured early in the match and they tried their best to retain their titles, but they just couldn't do it. We then see Adam Pearce and Paul Heyman backstage. Paul Heyman saying he's actually a fan of Adam Pearce, saying that he hoped he could make it big in the WWE, reminiscing how he really never got a chance as an in-ring competitor. You know, he actually says he pulled a few strings tonight and tells Adam Pearce he is in the gauntlet match next. And this is a match to determine who will face Roman Reigns for the championship come Royal Rumble. It's King Corbin... Uh, so far, Adam Pierce, Dan O'Brien, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Sami Zayn. And Sami Zayn. Oh man! While well, Liv Morgan is then joined with her partner Ruby Riot backstage, as Billy Kay actually interrupts, talking about their excellent tag team match last week as a team, and that the team should become a trio instead of a duo with the Riot Squad. As Liv and Ruby actually decline, Billy then shows them a resume of her special skill set, which makes Liv change her mind. I don't know, it's just very, very odd to me. We could be seeing another member added to the Riot Squad. Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing it. Next up, we have the main event, the gauntlet match, as Rey Mysterio is followed up by his son Dominic, and then Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn, with his own documentarian crew, saying how he is treated unfairly in the WWE, and he will get it filmed and documented all on camera. This was weird, but the match actually commences as Sami Zayn is yelling at his documentarians, whatever you want to call them, then turns around as Rey Mysterio just hits him with a kick and rolls him up for the 1-2-3 and faces Shinsuke Nakamura next. Rey went for a seated senton after a 6-1-9, but Shinsuke got the knees up and made Rey tap out. Adding insult to injury, Baron Corbin comes out of nowhere and attacks Rey Mysterio for some odd reason. So Shinsuke advances to face King Corbin. Shinsuke beats Corbin with a Kinshasa to advance facing Daniel Bryan next. After multiple running kicks by Bryan onto Shinsuke in the corner, Shinsuke caught Bryan off guard and hit him with a keen shasa. He is looking strong tonight, Shinsuke, and I am happy to see him in this type of spot. Yeah, me too. It's been a while. Roman's music then hits as he makes his way down to see Nakamura take on Adam Pierce as we cut to commercial. 
After we get back from commercial break, we then see Adam Pearce slowly kind of tentatively make his way down to the ring, wearing a WWE tracksuit, not looking like he was ready to fight whatsoever. With Jay trailing with Roman and Paul Heyman, Jay and Roman actually mug Shinsuke before the rest of the gauntlet match continues. Jay super kicks Adam as Roman tells the ref to start the match. What is Roman, the, the rule maker here? I guess so. Jay puts Adam on top of Shinsuke as the ref counts one, two, three. What? Adam Pierce versus Roman Reigns for that universal title, I guess we're seeing at the Royal Rumble. I am excited. That was uncalled for, but I'm happy to see it. All right. Let's it's going to get Adam views, Pierce baby. Do in the ring. Well, guys, that was it for this week's Friday Night Smackdown virtually. Let us know what you like most about this week's Smackdown, and always like, comment, and subscribe.